My name is Kirsty Lee Porter, and I'm one in four. My baby's name is Penny Lee Barber. I always knew one day I would talk about my story. You know, most stories, they have happy endings. Um, especially when I was growing up, fairy tales and stuff like that, you always got a happy ending at the end. For me, my fairy tale was being pregnant with Penny Lee. The happiness and, you know, the joy. And then, obviously, my story didn't end very well. And we lost Penny Lee. I had a stillborn. I think the turning point for me to be able to tell my story is the strength I've seen in the baby loss community. Daily, I still get messages from people who ask me, how can they get through this? How did I get through this? And to be quite honest, you don't you don't get over it. What you do is you get stronger. The days become less harsh. And for me, my turning point was, I'm not sat here going, I'm better now. I can deal with this. It's to show that I have been through this and that I'm still going through it, very much so. You can survive it. I wanted to give back to the people that had given to me. So yeah, I was, I've been very lucky to be able to do that now. Do you think they might have got it wrong? What? I'll just... Just last night, I've, uh, I thought I could just... Um, I thought I could feel him moving. Are you sure? I don't know, maybe I'll just mention it to the midwife. Could be a little fire, just like his daddy. Yes? For me, it's my reality and for so many others. Even now, stillbirth is such a taboo subject. People feel like they can't talk about it, especially people that have experienced a stillbirth or a miscarriage. There's kind of stigma around it, almost a shame around it. People feel like they can't talk about their experience. To tell this story, I just hope that people watch it, they listen to it, and they see what these parents go through that is so private, it's so lonely, and for people to suffer in silence, we can help more. So I always knew one day that I would talk about Penny Lake in the hope that it helps others. Well, so you do think there's a chance that he's, he's okay? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So luckily, I was very involved in the creation. When we spoke about possibly doing this story, I'm not gonna lie, I was very frightened. I was a bit like, oh, can I do this? Am I brave enough? Is now the right time? From being in that meeting to then agreeing to do the story, I just had this idea because I knew people that had experienced loss in their lives, that are a member of the crew, that I knew had experienced baby loss and asked if they would like to be involved. And you know, every single one of them said yeah. By the time we got to the floor and the scripts were written by our amazing writer Alana to shooting with the crew around us and to have them working on this shoot for the same reason, to do something in memory of their babies, to help people, yeah, it was so special. So the process of telling the story for me has been quite therapeutic in a way. It was quite empowering. Being able to express feelings, emotions that I knew so well and were so familiar to me on a floor in front of a whole crew and sharing that emotion and grief and all these different feelings. It was very real sometimes. Um, Leela's story is quite different to mine, which made it easier in a way, but the rawness was still there. You know, that's how I felt, that's how I remember feeling, that's how I still feel some days. And it's just sharing, it's sharing that story in the hope that people are gonna watch it and know that they're not alone and that it's very normal how they're feeling and it's okay to feel how they're feeling. What is it? The ultrasound has shown... I'm so sorry. Your baby has passed away. We didn't want to do this story in one episode and have the baby lost and then that's it. We wanted to show the ins and outs of the grief, the ins and outs of the devastation, the actual steps and the parts that it takes. You don't realise there's a process when you lose a baby, especially through stillbirth, what happens next. We need to induce the labour. No. I know this is hard for you to hear. No, no. For me, that moment 
personally has stayed with me this whole time. I genuinely didn't know what was happening next. I knew she'd passed away and then after I was like, oh my God, I didn't even realize until the consultant told me that now we'd have to give birth. Leela, when you're ready, I really am so very sorry. I just remember being completely shocked and in disbelief. In that moment, I thought, how am I going to do this? There's just no way. Uh, it's impossible. I can't do it. <gasps> in particular, the scenes where Leela's giving birth, the one thing that she does say is, I can't do it. Oh, let's get you comfortable. Come on. Oh, I can't do this. Yes, I can. you can. Yes, you can. Look at me. Okay, I'm we are scared. all here with you. Okay, and we're going to get you through this, yeah? I can't. <laughs> And even to this day, people genuinely don't know that you still have to give birth after you've lost a baby. As horrible as that is, I want to make that part of it not such a taboo. You know, it's not shameful, there's no stigma around it because it's very normal still in such a, you know, a situation that is very much not supposed to be normal. Okay. We'll get you changed, then I can do a proper check. Once your son is born, would you like to hold him? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. And she does it and you do do it. And then I want people to take from that when they're watching it, especially parents, especially the mother, that you can do this. You will get through this, as horrible as it is. You're still bringing your baby into this earth and they still exist. They're still here. They're here still the hashtag. That's exactly what it is. Joel and Leela arrive home and it's that emptiness. It's just raw, it's what do we do now? And it's that bit that is so, heavy and i just want people to watch that and know that they're not alone they're not in a silent dark place you know i'm here <laughs> we're here there's a whole community out there that it's normal how they're feeling that they can take it day by day but i mean with each day for me i find that i find more tools to deal with it and hopefully people will use this as one of their tools to help deal with it mom i'm all right Leela. we just we just thought it might be a bit much. No. no, you can't just cover everything up and pretend like it didn't happen, like it didn't exist. Let me go get a shower. Hmm? Try and get some meds, change your clothes. So if relatives are watching this and they see, you know, they might have a daughter or a son that's going through a baby loss and they can see with their own eyes exactly how they're feeling and what they're going through, they might be able to handle it better, they might be able to give advice, they might be able to help, support. You are not to blame. I can't give you any answers. But what I can tell you is you're a great mum and you have done nothing to cause this. I know for my relatives as well, they found it very hard because we'd never experienced anything like this in our family unit and they found it difficult to say the right thing or to support me when losing Penny Lee and I don't think anybody actually knows. Just be there for them. And one day soon, we will be three, you and me. And a beautiful baby. Look at us, we're still I just would like to make one point, which is just please reach out for support. It took me a while. You know, there's a saying that says you're, you're part of a group that you never wanted to be a part of. And that's exactly what it is. You are, you're a part of a group of some of the most outstanding people that I have spoken to. And I mean, dads, mums, grandparents, siblings, and aunties and uncles. I've kind of spoke to them from all of their points of views. And I've shared a bit about Penny and they've shared their experiences with me. And just, just sharing it, saying out loud what you've been through helps so much. You will get stronger and better equipped to deal with days. I'll be too. <laughs> I love you both so much. Because one day soon we will be through you and me and a beautiful baby. For help and support on baby loss, please visit channel4.com forward slash support.